Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is demonstrate how you can create a CNC program. All right, it's very, very simple. You can see for this project, our very first project, we have our three machining operations stored over here on the right side within our NC manager. Uh, if we want to create a CNC program, there's actually a couple ways to do it. One technique is to simply take your cursor and just double click on this orange strip. So once I do that, we get this dialog box. The very first thing you want to take a look at is up here where it says post. This is where you want to select the proper post processor. Now really quickly, a, a post processor is responsible for generating the correct CNC code for your particular machine tool. So if you have a Haas machine, you want to make sure you select a Haas post processor and so on. I, if I left click on here, you can see one CNC ships with over 100 post processors. I should also point out too, it's very easy to create post processors and also to edit post processors. All right, so now I have the Haas post processor selected. Now all I have to do is select post and then give it a name. You can also tell one CNC where you'd like to store it. I'm just going to use the default there. And there's our very first program. Let me expand this just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so real quickly, let me recap. To create a, po a CNC program, one method is to take your cursor, double click, and then make sure you've got the right post processor and then hit post. All right, that's one method. Another method is to take your cursor and right hand mouse click and then select post group. That gives you exactly the same dialog box. And again, you want to make sure you have the right post processor and then you select post. Okay, and then again, you give it a name, click save. I'm going to overwrite that. And here's the CNC program for that. All right, now what I'd like to do next is I'd like to show you how to create a job sheet. Okay, so to create a job sheet, all you have to do is take your cursor, go up to the orange strip, and just double click. All right, again, we get that same dialog box, but now instead of selecting post, what you're going to want to do is select job sheet. Now, before we do that, let's, let's make some changes here. I'm going to put in Patrick Matthews for the, and for a part number, let's just make this one, two, three, two. Okay, so to create a job sheet, now I'm just going to left hand mouse click. and there's a preview of the job sheet. This is a very nice job sheet and again this is just a preview. It's kind of hard to see everything here but it gives you all the information up here. It gives you some different views of the part and then it gives you a list of pertinent information for each operation. Now you can't see this because it, my screen capture area is not that large but you can print this job sheet out from here. You can save it. It's whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to click Save and what this allows us to do now is to save this as a PDF file. Okay, I'm going to just call this demo. All right, and we'll click save. I'll click OK to that. And now let's open up that PDF file and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's our very first job sheet. Here's the author, Patrick Matthews. Here's our tool summary. There's our part number that I had typed in. Tells you uh, the, the cycle times and things like that. Here's your different views of the part, and it also shows you the datum, where the datum was, the X0, Y0, Z0. And then it also shows you each machining operation with the pertinent information on there as well. Okay, so that's how to create a job sheet. The job sheets are very, very nice. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.